Hello and welcome back to Fem Design video lessons. In this video, you will learn how to calculate the load combinations in Fem Design software. To start, we are in the analysis tab here, and we are going to select the calculate function from here. In here, we can find the load cases that we have been used in before videos couple times and from here we can find the load combinations. I'm going to activate this. I'm going to first check the calculation options from here and here you can see some of the uh, calculation options for nonlinear analysis types. For example, if we have nonlinear elastic analysis activated, uh, here is the maximum iteration number you can select. For plastic analysis, we have default load step in presence. Here we have minimal load step and we have maximum equilibrium iteration number here. For nonlinear soil calculation, we have uh, initial load step, minimal load step and volume ratio of non-linearly active elements in one step as percentage and we have volume ratio of plastic elements in one step in here. And for the cracked sections, we have one load step in, a, uh, in percents of the total load, and we have maximum iteration number, and we have allowed stiffness change error here. Now we're just gonna press OK, and we are gonna go to setup by load combinations. In here, you can see, let me just drag this here. Uh, in here, you can see the number of load combinations. You have the type for your load combinations and the name for your load combination. Here, you can first select, do you want to calculate that load combination or not? Simply by pressing here. You can also select multiple load combinations and use the clear tool here or set tool here like this. And then, for the more complex, we have construction stages that we will look in a better way in a, uh, another video. We, here we have the nonlinear calculation and all of these can be activated uh, either one by one or like this. Then we have plastic analysis. We have nonlinear behavior of soil. We have cracked section analysis and then we have second order analysis and the imperfection shape that that second order analysis is going to be using. And then we have uh, amplitude of selected imperfection shape and we have groundwater level, level if we have modeled our soil in our structure. Uh, in here, I'm just going to clear these. I'm going to select only one load combination to be calculated. I'm going to press OK, and in here, if I press OK, I'm going to automatically get the load cases calculated, and after that, I'm going to get the load combinations calculated. By pressing OK, the calculation will start. In here, you can see the same that in uh, the videos before, but however, after a few steps, you can see that the FEM design calculation window will show the load combinations also to be calculated. So here you can see that it says processing load combinations and it will uh, continue on uh, calculating those load combinations. I'm going to pause this video for now and we will continue after the calculation have done. The calculation have now finished. I'm just going to press close here. And in the analysis tab, quick tools and in the results, I can see by opening the analysis that we have this load combinations and maximum of load combinations here. And here we could see if we had more load combinations here, we could select the combination that we would like to look uh, in our view. And by displaying this load combination, I can now see the results in my view for that load combinations. Yes, 
that that was all for the load combinations i hope you enjoyed thank you for watching and see you in the next one